Hello all. It's James again from menwhoareabused.com. And in this video we are going to talk about the extinction of the real male that once existed. And how this is tearing apart the family unit as a whole. You see though men and women can be abused equally as children. And it does cause a variety of problems. I'm here today to talk about the problem it causes in men. However, that being said, women listen up to. Because if you're a normal, non-disordered woman, this can help you understand why you are not meeting good men. And to stop going along with the way society portrays men. And start standing up for what is right. You see men that are abused as children, can either grow up to be adult abusers themselves, or lifelong victims without even knowing it. We aren't going to focus on the child that grows up to be an abuser today. We are going to look at the one that grows up to be a lifelong victim. Or in another words, a codependent. You see most codependent males tend to have been made that way by always trying to get love and approval that was never obtainable from their disordered parents. These disordered parents do the same thing to their kids that they do to their husbands or wives. They make them feel like they aren't doing enough to make them happy and that another child would do a better job at being better at making the mother or father happy. They create a great deal of confusion and chaos in the child's life, only to blame the child for these problems. All the while this child is trying so hard to fight and beg for the love of this parent who really cares nothing about this child. The parent will even use baits and tricks on the child, such as faking love or care for the child at certain points only to leave the child disappointed all over again with more put-downs and no love waiting for the child after they just got done doing a task they thought would bring them the love they have always needed and wanted from their parents. The parents will often use guilt to make the child fall deeper into being a codependent. Such as, if you would just do this I would love you. Or if you would just do that maybe I would care. So this child finds himself chasing his tail all day every day trying to get this loveless parent to love him back. So how is this making the true and real deal male going close to being extinct? You see through this dysfunctional and ambient abusive nature in which this child has been raised. He loses his natural instincts to being a man. And isn't taught the needed skills to be a successful, healthy mentally man that knows how to behave in a relationship with a woman. The honest truth. Most good women are scared off by codependent men. A real woman that has healthy life boundaries and good sense of right and wrong tend to be put off by the weird and too eager to please nature of the codependent male. You see though abusive types do come on strong in order to secure victims. Codependents come on strong in order to secure what they think is love. The truth of the matter is a person that has grown up in a situation that has turned him into a codependent has prevented this young man from even knowing what healthy love feels like or looks like. So he is confused and is only doing what his raised instincts are telling him to do. And that is to constantly try to get the approval of those that don't like him or want him. Codependents might start off okay when they first meet a woman. Quite possibly they are good looking and are appealing to the woman. However after their first date, he might buy a very big gift, or tell his life story and go on and on about his past relationships. This to a normal healthy woman can make her freak out, scared, and not wanting to call this man back no matter if he is handsome or not. So the codependent fails and fails at relationships like this. However until he meets the narcissist, borderline or psychopathic type. Because these narcissist, borderline or psychopathic kinds of people pick up on the neediness of the codependent. The neediness to be loved. So the narcissist, borderline or psychopath fakes tons of love in the beginning of dating someone that is codependent. However this faked love is short lived and at some point the abuse will start. However the codependent will stay and take it. Why? Because that's what he was taught by his dysfunctional abusive and disordered parents. Because of this, you have men such as in this example being cheated on multiple times and taking the woman back only to have it happen again and again. You have men being put into a subhuman category in their homes, and without the ability to love themselves enough to know they deserve better. 
and we know that most disordered relationships end up in divorce with kids in the middle. The kids are then raised with seeing their father being just beaten apart without a manly bone in his body, and their mother being disordered and abusive, which again makes the cycle continue to another generation. What a lot of women that have normal healthy lives do not understand the more this cycle continues to happen. Your chances of finding a really good man that has a good heart, coupled with being a real man with masculine qualities has greatly diminished. Why? Because other disordered women are raising their kids in this manner only to grow up to be incapable of having successful and healthy relationships for themselves. So the part that normal women can do is stop laughing when you see men in society being portrayed as stupid, dumb, and incapable. Stop standing up for women that are clearly in the wrong just because they are women. Start waking up and speaking the truth as many of us have. Because this is the reason why real men are on the decline. But what happens is even more deep and scary for these women. They end up meeting someone that they think has all of these masculine qualities. That turn out to be narcissists or psychopathic types. You see the most codependent types end up with a narcissist. A normal person can end up with such a person as well. And it's usually because they have grown frustrated not meeting an ideal partner and will start to believe any white lie put in their face. So here comes the man of her dreams. But he is really a narcissist running a scam. Why? Because he sees she is now desperate to find a good man. This is the nasty little secret of a gift that keeps on giving. And no one talks about it, so what needs to happen with men? You need to come to terms with how you were raised was abusive and wrong. You literally need to wake up. And trust me waking up can be scary. But it's needed to fix your life problems. Seek therapy and help. Spiritually dig down deep and realize you weren't put on this earth to be abused and that the way you are living is dysfunctional and needs to change. As far as the women are concerned. Stop supporting women that utterly have no respect and decency for the men in their community. Ladies do yourself a favor and watch television for the week and count how many times men were shown or portrayed in a less than human way. Where they were made fun of. Told their opinion did not matter. How they might have been struck or hit. How they were cheated on and expected to just deal with it. How they were treated like their parenting for their shared kids was not valued. And how they were just dumb stupid people whose only job in life was to serve their women. Then what you need to do women is take that red pill and wake the heck up. And realize what kind of a world you are living in. And that you can do your little part so you can indeed help the real man from becoming extinct so there is a real life future partner you can spend your life with. Because without a healthy man and a healthy woman to make a healthy relationship. The future becomes a very grim and sad thought, that being said. Men we need to help ourselves and realize these problems are real and not to depend on anyone else but ourselves. The problems are real. And they have clinical names and are considered sicknesses or personality disorders that most likely were caused in you by how you were raised. Once you realize this, you can begin the journey of fixing this problem. Remember you are a man. And it's time for you to live the life that you were truly intended to live. With that said, Knowledge is power. I know waking up can be hard. But gaining knowledge and understanding this newfound knowledge is the first step. Until next time. Bye for now and be good to yourselves.